This is Bob Barmore with Caldwell Banker here in beautiful Pinehurst, North Carolina. I wanted to just take a few moments today and give you a little primer on Pinehurst, some of the background and the important things that uh, make this such a special location in the world of golf. What really brought Pinehurst to the forefront of the American golfing world was the 1999 U.S. Open. I am sure everyone remembers the name Payne Stewart and his dramatic win with that 14 foot putt on the 18th hole to beat Phil Mickelson. It's really a thing that legends are made of. And you can come back today and have your picture taken with a statue of Payne with his signature pose there on the 18th green. But since then we've had 2005. Uh, of course, everybody remembers Michael Campbell, a little satire there, uh, that year's champion. And then they also came back in 2014 and did the back-to-back -back men's U.S. Open, women's U.S. Open, back-to-back -back weeks. Uh, your winners there, Martin Keimer, won the men's, and Michelle Wee West, one of the fan favorites, won the ladies. Championship golf is not unknown at Pinehurst. This is a trophy case filled with replicas of the major championship trophies which have competed on Pinehurst. U.S. Open, U.S. Women's Open, the Ryder Cup, the U.S. Men's Amateur, U.S. Women's Amateur, PGA Championships, and a few others. Championship golf is at home in Pinehurst. Over its 125 years, Pinehurst has played a significant role in American golf. To that end, Pinehurst has been named a National Historic Landmark, uh, which has its ups and its downs, but there certainly is a lot of history involved in Pinehurst and the game of golf. You know, not only a cathedral to the game of golf, it's also a wonderful private country club. Uh, this is actually my country club. And I thought I'd just take you inside some of the newly remodeled areas just to give you a sneak peek of what it looks like to be a member here at this fine club. This is a lobby as you walk in. And if you can look all the way back through those glass doors, that is Piners number two just laying there. Uh, that's called the two view room. They've just finished remodeling the lower levels which includes the new men's locker room. Uh, I, I, the amount of painstaking design work that went into the, the greens, the grays, and making the colors all make sense and have that Pinehurst feel is absolutely amazing. And it's all wrapping up right now. Just a quick look at the lockers, newly finished. I just stopped by today and picked up my key. And yeah, I'm very proud to have that key for my locker there in the Pinehurst locker room. It is a magnificent facility. I look forward to uh, taking advantage of it and cleaning up after a rough day on the course. Of course, wouldn't be Pinehurst without a little bit of fashion here. We have a private pro shop here. Uh, not only help us with fashion, but they also are quite nice in helping us with our tea times. It's just another beautiful day at Pinehurst. I mean, if you've ever been here, you know what it's like. And the place just oozes with the ambiance of fine country club style living. Here's my office here in the beautiful Pinehurst village. Stop by and see us. Um, Bowtie Bob is here at least two days a week and I'm always available by phone. And if you got a question about Pinehurst, I'm the guy to talk to. Thanks. Talk to you later.